Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're having a great start to your October. That just means we're gonna do my September beauty favorites. We're just keeping it chill today, sitting on my day bed in my office. I don't really feel like setting everything up and making it look perfect, so we're just keeping it chill. August and September were crazy months just because, I mean, Harvey completely threw us off. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a really crazy time. Luckily we were safe. Obviously if you follow me on social media you know that we're fine. I haven't done a favorites video since July and I felt weird doing an August one because that's when ha Harvey hit and so now we're just getting into my September favorites. So I've got a lot of fun things to show you. They're all makeup. I don't know how this worked out the way that it did but only one item that I'm going to talk about today is like an affordable item. The rest are more expensive, more not necessarily high end, but definitely not drugstore items. So I don't know what's going on here. Usually I have a, like a, at least a couple of drugstore products to throw in, but for some reason this is what stood out to me and I'm just going to go with it because that's what stands out to me. I'm not going to try and throw in stuff just to throw stuff in. I'm going to talk about what I love. Okay, let's just get right into this. The first item, I've got two foundations to show you. And the first one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. And this is the um, like water fresh lighter version of the original Double Wear. I started using the original Double Wear like this summer and I was like, what took me so long? I think it was in one of my favorites videos. It was, I was like, why did it take me so long to try that foundation? I don't know, but I love it, okay? It's basically like the lighter version. It's like Double Wear is like a lighter little sister. And what I love is wearing this by itself on days that I don't want as full of a coverage. Or I love to mix it with the original Double Wear and I think the flaw it's such a flawless finish. I love it so much. Second foundation is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines foundation. And I was like, again, pleasantly surprised by this. I don't know why, I don't know what I was expecting, but it said that it is anti-aging, skin smoothing, and invisible coverage. And I don't know that it's made me look younger, but I do feel like there is a very blurring effect with the foundation and that um, it has really great coverage. Like if you love the CC cream, I think you would love this as well. Um, it's a little bit more, it doesn't feel as heavy as the CC cream actually. The coverage is really great and I feel like I said it blurs. I've got some lip products. One is on my face right now and it is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in 20. This is from her birthday collection. I feel like it's like the perfect pale person fall color. You know what I'm saying? Like Sometimes I feel like the um, super dark vampy lip is a little hard to pull off when you're extremely fair just it's like it's too much of a contrast with your pale skin um so i always wear extra bronzer extra contour when i wear a really dark lip but with this one i don't feel like i need to um if you are more darker complected warmer complected um i think this will be like a great like almost neutral for you but for me it pulls like looking like a really dark mauve and I love it. I love it for fall. I actually really love Kylie Jenner's lip kits. I think they're amazing. Um, a lot of people say that they're like the same thing as ColourPop and I say that they're not. I feel like they're completely different formulas. I love both but I just don't think they're the same. Anyway, I love both. I love this one. If you can still get your hands on it, I have no idea. I just felt like I needed to mention it. This is also a limited edition lipstick and it is from the Nicki Minaj and a MAC lipstick, nude lipstick collection. Literally all of the colors from that collection are beautiful. They sent me about half of them. I didn't get the full collection like a lot of influencers got, which is fine. Like I don't really care, but needless to say, I got about nine of them. And I think this one is a very standout color. This is called Nikki's Nude. Um, but it's like a peachy pink, not too warm, not too cool. 
I'm now like trying to wipe it off. I'm like sitting here. I should have put the wipe, brought the wipes out, but whatever. I love Nikki's nude. The thing is with these Nicki Minaj lipsticks, I believe I will leave a date right here when they're sold till. So if you are looking to get your hands on some, now is the time. If you're looking for one, Nikki's nude is so pretty. I also love um, Stripped is another really one that I really love. And it's called Mmm with all M's. I like that one too. Um, I have three eye products. First is an affordable product from ColourPop. This is the um, Brow Boss Eye Pencil. And I have this in, this is in dark brown, which I don't ever really think to wear dark brown but this works so well with my eyebrow color I'm just like super impressed by it it's another tiny little small brow pencil much like the Anastasia brow is wow how much are these I think they're six dollars like they're really affordable and um I really really love it I think that if you're gonna make a ColourPop order, which I mean, who doesn't want to make a ColourPop order? I always get on there and like, ooh, what lipsticks do I need today? So while you're buying your lipsticks, definitely grab, put one of these in your cart. The next product is so beautiful. It is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And look how gorgeous it is. Like, it's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I know this was released in the summer, but I truly think that these shades are so good for fall, like all of the warm colors. I think you can create so many great looks with this that kind of like work into fall or honestly year round. This is such a beautiful palette. I think that it looks good on so many people. It's so pretty. The packaging is beautiful. I absolutely love, have loved using it. Another Urban Decay product. This is the last product on the list. And this is the Troublemaker Mascara. They say, and it's like, smudge proof, and they say it's sex proof. I have not tested that out, but I will say that I absolutely have been loving this mascara, and I'm not usually a high-end mascara kind of girl. I'm usually like, I've been ride or die for L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm like, if you can't even hold a candle to L'Oreal Lash Paradise, like you are not welcome in my circle, okay? You are just not welcome here. When I tried this out, I was like super skeptical. I was like, this is not gonna give me those lashes that like I get with my Lash Paradise, but I was proven wrong. I feel like this is so good. It's like voluminous long, fluttery, like my, I'm, I'm wearing falsies right now, so don't use my eyes as a judge, but on my day-to-day, -day, like, makeup looks, I feel like it really helps me, like, get those lashes. The wand on it's real nice. Um, I don't even know if people like this mascara or not. I hadn't really looked at reviews, but just for me testing it out, I've really enjoyed it. That is everything. We are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you've been loving lately. If I haven't tried it out, of course, duh, I need to go try it. So let me know. As always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and make sure to follow along on social media and we can be friends forever. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.